I'm Mike Hart. Here's a look at what we're following on this Wednesday. Students at Liberty High School will take part in a history lesson today beyond their lectures and textbooks. It's been three years since Liberty High School's National Social Studies Honor Society hosted a Veterans Appreciation Banquet. This is from 2019. It's a chance to learn from, talk to, and thank our local veterans. Back in 2019, World War II veteran Marvin Belcher, a gunner on a B-17 bomber, talked to 23 saying he was impressed by the students. I think it's a great thing. I'm, uh, I'm impressed with the high school putting on this kind of an event for their students and to honor the veterans. Uh, uh, I'm very, uh, very impressed. Um, again, we're just really grateful for all these people to come out here today. Um, and we are, we are honored to have them here and we're honored to serve them. Um, and I'm just, I'm so glad that the high school uh, and the National Social Studies Honor Society here can put on an event like this. Now, Belcher passed away in November of last year at the age of 96. He was able to share his stories with the students a couple years back. You can watch his interview with 23ABC in August of 2019 as part of our Veterans Voices segment. You can find that on our website, turn to 23.com. Now, due to the pandemic, it is not a sit-down banquet today. It's a drive through celebration. Veterans can come to the Liberty High School parking lot as students are ready to greet them with gifts and gratitude. It all starts at 10 o'clock this morning. All right, let's take a check at what we can expect outside as far as the weather goes in our forecast. Good morning. You'll notice some cloud coverage still out there today and tomorrow. We're slowly warming up though, heading into the end of this week. Today and tomorrow, we're right around 70, fluctuating by a few degrees. And then heading into this weekend, we definitely warm up, even hitting 80 on Saturday. Upper 70s Sunday before a slight dip on Monday, warming back up Tuesday to start the new week next week. As we head into today for our mountain communities, same thing with that cloud coverage. We're in those upper 50s and 60s. This weekend, more sunshine is on the way with slightly warmer temperatures. Friday, Saturday, we're in those mid to upper 60s. And 70s. Sunday going into Monday, you see there's that slight cool off as well. Lower 70s, lower 60s. Tuesday, though, as we start that official first full week of April, we will be a little bit warmer in those mid 60s for Tehachapi and Fraser Park. Nice and warm in those mid 70s for our friends in Lake Isabella. That's a look at some of the stories that we're following right now for breaking news, weather, and traffic anytime, anywhere on the go. Download our free mobile and tablet apps.